chapter one of the book on Agile Portfolio Management. The first chapter. And of course that's about rhythm. It's about cadence. Because if Agile does anything into organizations, it's establishing a cadence. A cadence of iterations. Instead of focusing on the plan, which is uncertain and will change, we're replacing the uncertainty of plans with the certainty of rhythm. So also for portfolio management itself. So in order to get that you need a steady rhythm also for your portfolio management process. Most organizations nowadays use a quarterly rhythm. Uh, they, they use quarters or, or QBRs or PIs, whatever it is, but they use a, a, a quarter to produce results and after that comes the next quarter. So instead of making long yearly plans, you can make a short yearly plan and then refine it when the quarter comes. But also during the quarter there will be activities to align portfolio, prepare it for the next QBR or take in the data from the sprint and the experiments to revise your strategic decisions. So you need a rhythm for that. Put it into your organization and put it into the calendars. And of course we know is the faster you need to want to be, the more agile you want to be, the faster the rhythm should be. So if you're in a comfortable organization that doesn't need to change fast, your rhythm can be slower. But when you're in a very dynamic environment where everything is uncertain, you need to discover a lot, you need a shorter rhythm. Not only for the delivery by your teams, a weekly or a bi-weekly rhythm, but also in the rhythm to update the portfolio. Because when the organization is faster and the sprints are faster and so the teams are faster, you will also need to steer in your portfolio and you get earlier evidence if something is a great idea or not. So, align these rhythms and the more agile you need to be, the shorter the rhythm. In principle for these meetings you could say it's mostly better to meet often and short instead of meeting a few times and then very long. Uh, because you know, the shorter the meeting is, the, 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 the less things you can discuss and you discuss the most important stuff first. And if you meet each other not so often, the more topics need to be addressed and are on the table. And that's why you see in organizations more and more uh, uh, OBEAs being used, also for the portfolio management. Because the meetings then take place in the OBEA, they are there daily, they are short, they are focused and the data is there. So also for portfolio management, try to set up an OBEA and have the meeting with the data, then the meetings can be short. Finally, in most organizations, we see a rhythm of quarters. Nowadays in organizations, that's QBR rhythms, the quarterly business reviews. And what you then see that they reserve a week to do this and then the rest of the quarter to actually do the work. So also the case, the VGZ case, for example, uh, in the book does that. They have a, a neat rhythm in their, in, their, in their calendars, which they can predefine long ahead because hey, a year is four quarters and a, four, and, a, and a quarter is 13 weeks. And if you then use the QBR week, the planning week or the alignment week, first one then remains is 12 weeks. And the nice thing of 12 weeks is that you can subdivide them in 12 sprints of a week, uh, a four sprints of three weeks, six sprints of two weeks. So the number 12 is easily to divide. So you use the 13th week of the quarter for the QBR week and then you have a cadence for the rest. So you don't need to plan the whole year ahead, just plan the quarter and refine and replan in a new QBR for the next quarter. That's the essential of as a portfolio management considering rhythm. More about how much work you should do? Check out chapter 2.